Welcome to Search for Signs. My name is Gary Willing. If this information interests you, please press the like and subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. Now let me ask you this question. Do you think that the world is ready for their awaited teacher to come back? So like for instance, if you're a Christian, do you think that the world's ready for the Christ to come back? If you're listening to this and you're Jewish, do you think that the, you know, the world's ready for the Messiah to come back? If you're a Buddhist, you know, do you think that the, the world's ready for the Buddha to come back and so forth, the Krishna for the, the Hindus and so forth? And even if you don't have a religious belief, do you think that the world is ready for a world teacher to help guide us and in, in a way that, that I've been talking and Benjamin Krem has been talking about Maitreya to help humanity, right? Do you think the world is ready for that type of teacher now? Now, if you noticed, I didn't use the word savior because I don't like that term. Because I don't view Maitreya as a savior. And he doesn't view himself as a savior. You know, it, it, he says that we have to save ourselves. And you can look at that a couple of different ways, right? We have to save ourselves individually. That the Buddha and Jesus and Maitreya and any, any other great teacher can't save us from ourselves the way that the Christians believe, right? But also at the same time, because we're the ones that are mucking up the environment, we have to save ourselves or save our planet. We're the ones that are screwing it up. We have to actually save it. Maitreya and the masters can't do it for us. That's the whole point. We have to do it ourselves. They're only here to inspire and guide us to do it. Now, getting back to the original question, do you think that humanity is ready for this teacher to come back or the masters to come back? However you want to look at it, right? Now, again, like I said, you could argue it several different ways, right? And I can't contradict you and quarrel with you either way because if you said that humanity is not ready because of the divisions because of the problems that we have in the world right that we're it's not perfect for that kind of type of teacher to come back we don't even get along with one another we can talk to one another on the other side of the planet but the problem is we don't get along right now just a you know a little over a hundred years ago from the master's point of view humanity wasn't ready they were thinking humanity wasn't going to be ready for another thousand years from now so yeah i could see it I could see that point of view. Do you think, you know, I could also see that humanity is ready because the masters are coming back into the world, Maitreya being on TV already. So there must be some kind of readiness from humanity, right? For their teachings, right? And also because Maitreya himself says humanity is ready. So, I mean, it, it is, you know, I have to kind of take him at his, at, at his word, right? Now, if you were to look at it historically, right, the last time the Christ was was, you know, in the world when Jesus was around 2,000 years ago, right? Was humanity ready then? You could argue it either way on that one because, you know, I don't know how many people were living on the planet, a quarter of a billion, half a billion people maybe, I don't know, right? How many of that, however, you know, million, you know, 100 million people or whatever it is that were living on the planet at the time, how many of those people knew that Jesus was even there? Not very many, Right. And out of that very, very tiny fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent of people of the pop, total population of the planet that knew that Jesus was, was there, how many of those people actually believed what he said was actually worthwhile, <laughs> right? Even smaller. How many people actually believed he was the Christ? Even smaller, right? I mean, it was just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of people recognized who he was. It was just a few of the biblical characters, really, and maybe some others that we didn't we don't know about, right? But not very many. Now, fast forward to today. You know, and the other thing, we'll go and get back to the 2,000 years ago thing, right? Sorry, before we fast forward to today, you know, and because his message was so revolutionary, the powers that be put him to death within a matter of a few years, about three years since he started, once he started actually out, when he was talking out openly to the people, it took him about three years for them to get pissed off enough to kill him, right? So looking at it today, I don't think that the powers that be are ready for this type of message because I don't know when they'll ever be ready, really, until the people are demanding it. But are the people really ready? Well, Maitreya says yes, they are ready. And a lot of it has to do with the transformations that have happened over the last few decades 
that have caused this to happen. You know, um, also the fact that we're facing self-destruction is another reason why they came back so quickly, which maybe we, we weren't 100% ready, but there was a certain percentage of us that were, right? But if you look at, even with today's media and everything like this, right, you know, there's just a tiny, 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 tiny fraction of people even know who Maitreya is. And even lesser, and just even, wow, probably maybe a thousand people maybe believe he is the Christ. You know, and the others that actually know about Maitreya think he's the Antichrist. But it would is, is that a true representation of, of whether we're ready or not? I, I don't think so. But that's just kind of the way that the, the Christ has always worked with and through, you know, with and with humanity. Always come when we weren't ready. Always spoke very simply to people. Always was one among us, right? Never this this spiritual being coming from a from above as like a giant, you know, or whatever that that confirms everybody believes. Just comes quietly, teaches us. It's the way he's always been. I I always, I never really understood the disconnect between the historical Jesus 2,000 years ago and the way that he lived and taught the people and the way that the Christians expect him to come back today. I don't understand that disconnect because they're, they're two totally different visions of the same person. One was very simple, very humble, rode into Jerusalem on a donkey he had to borrow, spoke very, very simply to people. Loved everyone, without exception. Even those that put him to death, he loved them. And then, the, but the, the Jesus that everyone's expecting to come back, that has been mucked up, and that, that view has been mucked up and so forth for the last 2,000 years, is one that is going to come as this judge from the clouds with a host of angels, you know, killing off anybody that doesn't believe that he is who, we, you know, who a certain group of people believe that he is being the only true son of God and so forth. And then if you don't believe that, then you're going to hell for the rest of eternity. It just, I don't understand the disconnect, never have. But yet getting back to the question, are we ready or not? I really can't answer that question. I guess we must be because Maitreya is here, but don't look for I guess if I can make any suggestions, now I know you're not asking me, but you know, if I have to, if I can make any suggestions, don't look for the Christ to come back any different than he did 2000 years ago. Not the way he looked, you know, I don't think he's going to be coming with in a in a dirty robe with with uh Birkenstocks on or something like that. I mean, he'll be coming wearing modern clothes, but his message is going to be just as simple, just as pertinent just as powerful as it was 2,000 years ago. But yet, don't look for a man that's coming from the clouds. Look for a man that's simple, yet humble, you know, speaking the truth, yet with nothing but love and, and total fearlessness. That's who the Christ is. Just as he was 2,000 years ago, so as he will be today. But, and as always, take action. Help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. Have a great day.